So we're going to look at the, uh, the hip control pads. So again, we've got our two columns at the bottom of the pad, and we've got the grooves within the boards. So once we've located the grooves that we want to pop the hip pad into, we can move that in to the correct position. The pad's also got movement up and down, and it can also be angled as well to accom accommodate any uh, skeletal issues. Once you've found the place where you would like the hip pad to remain, we can then tighten the hip pad with the wing knobs underneath to secure it into place. So for using the, uh, the pelvic strap, again, we have two vel uh, Velcro straps. We want these to go over the, the pelvis around the ASIS. Once that's in place, we can then adjust the strap for any rotational issues that we may have. So if we need to pull in one side more, we would put, apply some pressure and then stick the Velcro onto the side of the pad and then we're able to clip the safety strap on. We can then adjust that safety strap to be nice and tight and stick it back onto the Velcro.